All right, hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm excited, Nathan. We're doing another Ash and Irwin song. We really enjoyed the last one we did. We've got another request from a different patron for the same artist, Ashton. Will you enjoy him, of course, his solo stuff, and also we enjoy and love him, of course, in uh, Five Sauce. So this is what Steph Welper has to say. Steph said, Ashton Irwin from Five Sauce. We know Steph. Why do you have to say a Steph? We know. Is that a different Ashton Irwin? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're just teasing you, Steph. We love you. <laughs> to be fair, she's making sure that we don't embarrass ourselves. So that's probably fair. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Has started his era of his second album coming out next month called Blood on the Drums. That's right. We mentioned that. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the first single off the album that just came out uh, in June called Straight to Your Heart. Well, we've done one song off this album already. Yeah, we did one. And yeah. I feel bad. Steph, I actually, Steph requested it first, but just the way my... I'm, I'm the secretary. I apologize. Sometimes I just throw songs. I move songs around. So what I do sometimes is like I try to make each stream a mixture. And so I probably just grabbed him from wherever and put him here. It wasn't mm. in order. I don't always put things in order of when we get the request, if that makes sense. Okay. Mm. So uh, thanks, Steph, for being patient with that. I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. <laughs> A dream away The memory of the day I had to burn your letters How the times have changed Makes my head spin My head spin but Here and now We're different people Here and now We know what to do Here and now Still wanna be with the famous words of nathan <laughs> i'm glad i get to go first <laughs> actually do that again do the mouth movements and i'll do your voice okay. i'm glad i get to go first <laughs> so stupid what are we doing <laughs> You and I could just entertain each other for years uh, just in front of this camera. <laughs> Nobody watching us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a fantastic song. I think one of the um, 
not criticisms, but one of the things I pointed out in the last reaction with Ashton was his vocals. I think I made the point that he didn't showcase his vocals very much in that last song that we did. I forget, I forget what it was called, but here he is. So I'm really proud of him because he really showed some range on his singing, going very high, 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 high. <laughs> You know, he's got some very high vocals on here. And uh, yeah, you're right. Pet Shop Boys, 80s sound. This is very, uh, again, 1984 called. Ashton, they want their <laughs> song back. This certainly has seen a revival of some of the artists we're listening to. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the ether. I love the sound. So for me, I, I mean, I dig it. I love it. It just makes me feel young again. So I'm all for it. Uh, great drums throughout. He's showcasing his percussion, of course, his abilities. He's playing the acoustic guitar. He's singing high on the vocals. It's an earworm of a chorus. I was singing along first time. Listen, and you're singing along to the chorus. It's always a good sign. So, uh, mm. yeah, straight to the heart. This was straight to my heart. This was straight to my heart, Nathan. I was <laughs> listening today on the radio. I'm just going to quote what this person had said. This person had said, when you really look at you know music, nothing has really changed since the Beatles. There's been like people adapting and but all the music sounds the same. Like this person definitely had a old person vibe to them about how like you know things really haven't changed much. Now this is a good example of like you said. There's a lot of very similar sounds from the '80s here. Ashen I think is even imitating a little bit uh, directly from the Pet Shop Boys. But I want to counterpoint that argument because I think that there are areas of music that are kind of like mines, right? You go back to a mine that hasn't been explored enough. You find little nuggets, you explore it a little bit more, or at least you give people something to do for that time period. And this is what's happening here. Ashen is giving the fans of Ashen and Five Sauce new life to music that either we enjoyed back in the day or when other people were enjoyed pet shop. I wasn't really a pet shop boys back then fan, but what's happening is like people today are having a revival of that music and they're, they're feeling connected to it. And I think there's something pretty great about that. Whether you agree or disagree with that statement that music hasn't changed much in, you know, almost 60, 70 years, you can't disagree with how at least people are, are still reconnecting. And I think that's that's what's happening for a lot of people with Five Sauce is they're giving a chance to to hear. Not Five Sauce, with Ashen. I like Ashen as a human being. I really think he's a great person. I like a lot of what he says and how he you know stands up for himself and and the different causes and things. I, I just think he's, he's got a lot of great things going for him. So I always wish the best success for Ashen, whatever he does. Saying all that and saying, like I didn't really talk about the song very much because the music itself wasn't like, woo, but I do feel like people are getting a lot out of it. Probably more than what I got, but I still think I'm, I'm happy for that success. I'm happy for it to happen. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Steph. You're awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.